Have you ever wondered if the universe is truly infinite? If so, what does that mean for us, and how does it work? In the grand scheme of things, we're just tiny specks on a tiny planet in a colossal cosmos. Now if we're to consider the universe as infinite, it opens up a whole new can of cosmic worms. Imagine, if you will, an infinite number of galaxies, stars, and planets. It's a bit like the army mess hall's appetite, bottomless and always hungry for more. Picture this, you're a soldier stationed in a remote outpost. You're on night watch, gazing at the stars, when you suddenly realize the vastness of the universe. It's as infinite as the number of push-ups your drill sergeant made you do because he caught you napping on duty. In this infinite universe, there are galaxies beyond our wildest imagination, stars brighter than the glare off your sergeant's freshly polished boots, and planets as varied as the stories you'd hear at the veteran's bar. The numbers are astronomical, and just like the tales of your sergeant's exploits, they just keep getting bigger. But here's the kicker. If the universe is truly infinite, shouldn't there be an infinite number of stars visible in our night sky? Shouldn't the night sky be as bright as daylight, filled with countless stars from countless galaxies? But as we know, that's not what we see when we look up at the heavens. There's a lot of darkness out there, punctuated by the twinkling of distant stars. This contradiction, my friends, is the essence of a paradox. And not just any paradox, but one that has puzzled scientists and philosophers for centuries. It's like trying to figure out how Private Johnson always manages to lose his rifle, despite the fact that it's attached to him. So, if the universe is infinite, then why can't we see an infinite number of stars in the night sky? Interesting, isn't it? Let's dive deeper into this paradox. Ever heard of the Olbers paradox? No? Well, it's named after the German astronomer Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers, who wasn't the first to discuss this paradox, but he sure did popularize it. Now you must be wondering, what is this Olbers paradox? Picture this, if the universe is infinite and eternally old, then every line of sight in the night sky should end on a star, right? There should be no dark spots, the entire sky should be as bright as the surface of the sun. But when we look up at the night sky, it's dark with only speckles of stars. Now that's the Olbers paradox. This paradox is a bit like when you're out on a night patrol and you think, hey, it's a clear night, I should be able to see everything. But all you see are trees and maybe the occasional rabbit if you're lucky. But you know there's more out there. You know there's an enemy camp, maybe a river, perhaps a hill. They're just not in your line of sight. So why is the night sky dark? If the universe is indeed infinite, shouldn't it be flooded with light from an infinite number of stars? It's like having an infinite number of flashlights pointing at you from every direction. You'd be blinded by the light, right? But that's not the case when we gaze at the night sky. The night sky is dark, peppered with only a few bright spots we call stars. This paradox has puzzled astronomers for centuries. It's like a riddle that doesn't seem to have an answer. But science is all about solving riddles, right? And this one has led to some mind-boggling theories about the nature of our universe. So, the night sky isn't lit up like a Christmas tree, and yet we're talking about an infinite universe. What gives? So, how do we square this circle? Let's explore a few theories that might hold the answer. Now, don't get me wrong, we're not talking about theories like the one where Private Johnson said he washed his socks, but they still smell like a skunk. No, we're talking about cosmic theories, ones that could potentially solve the enigma of Olber's paradox. First up on the roster is the theory that the universe might not be old enough for the light from all the stars to reach us. Now, bear with me. Imagine you're on night watch in the middle of nowhere. You've got a flashlight, but the battery is new and the bulb is yet to light up. Technically, the light exists, but you can't see it because it hasn't had the chance to shine. The universe, in this case, is like that flashlight. It's believed to be around 13.8 billion years old. That might seem like a lot, but in cosmic terms, it's about as young as a fresh recruit. Stars billions of light years away might have emitted light billions of years ago, but the universe simply hasn't been around long enough for that light to reach us. Next up, we've got the theory of an expanding universe. This one's a bit like trying to catch up with a Humvee while you're stuck in a traffic jam. 
the universe is believed to be expanding at an accelerating rate. So, just as you think you're about to catch up with that elusive light from a distant star, the universe pulls a fast one and expands, pushing the star further away. The result? The light never reaches us. It's like being promised a hot meal after a long day, only to find out the mess hall's closed. Another possible solution is the concept of cosmic dust. This is not the kind of dust you find under your bunk, but rather particles scattered across space. This cosmic dust might absorb and scatter starlight, making distant stars appear dimmer than they should. It's like looking for your buddy in a sandstorm. He's there, but the dust makes it hard for you to spot him. Lastly, we have the theory of cosmic evolution. This suggests that over time stars change, and some even die out. So even if the universe were infinitely old and not expanding, not all stars would be shining at once. It's like a changing of the guard, some stars fade out and new ones take their place. But remember, these are just theories. The universe, much like a stubborn old sergeant, doesn't easily give up its secrets. So keep your boots laced up, your eyes on the stars, and your mind open to the mysteries of the cosmos. It's a wild ride, and we're all in this together. Over and out. Now, if one universe isn't enough to blow your mind, how about multiple universes? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, because we're about to dive into the realm of the multiverse. The concept of a multiverse, or multiple universes, is one possible solution to Olber's paradox that we've been wrestling with. If there are, in fact, an infinite number of universes, each with different physical laws, then the paradox we've been grappling with might just resolve itself. Imagine that. A universe for every possible outcome, every possible variation, every possible choice. Let's take a step back for a moment and try to imagine the concept of a multiverse. It's like having an endless library where each book tells a different story of a different universe. Some might be similar to ours, abiding by the same laws of physics, while others could be wildly different, Marse, with laws and constants that we can't even begin to comprehend. In this grand cosmic library, there could be a universe where gravity pulls upwards or where time runs backward. There could be a universe where the sky is green or where water is not a necessity for life. There could even be a universe where all the questions we're asking have been answered, where the paradoxes we're struggling with don't exist. This multiverse concept could solve Olbers's Spro paradox by providing a simple answer. Not all universes are old enough or big enough for their light to have reached us. Some might be too young, their light still traveling through the cosmic void. Others might be too far, their light forever out of our reach. And here's where it gets really interesting. If there are infinite universes, then there must be infinite possibilities. And if there are infinite possibilities, then somewhere out there, in the grand cosmic library, there's a universe where you exist, just like you do here. And in that universe, there's possibly another you, sitting there, scratching your head, wondering about the same paradox that we're discussing here. It's a concept that's as mind-bending as it is fascinating. The idea that we could be one of an infinite number of universes, each with its own unique set of laws and constants, each with its own story to tell. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of reality and forces us to question our place in the cosmos. So, in some other universe, there's possibly another you wondering about the same paradox. Mind-boggling, isn't it? So, what if we finally prove the universe is infinite? How would it change our understanding of the cosmos and our place in it? Imagine the ramifications of such a discovery. In science, it would be a game-changer. We'd have to rethink many of our theories and laws. Gravity, for instance, might behave differently at infinite scales. And the Big Bang Theory? Well, let's just say it might have to go boom. Again, for astrophysicists, an infinite universe would be like an all-you-can-eat buffet of mysteries. Black holes, dark matter, dark energy, these puzzling phenomena might just be the tip of the cosmic iceberg. We'd have to reevaluate our understanding of time, space, and matter. It would be a new dawn for astronomy, a field day for theoretical physicists, and a heyday for cosmologists. Philosophically, an infinite universe would push us to grapple with questions about infinity itself. Is infinity a concept or a reality? Can the human mind truly comprehend the infinite? 
These are questions that have baffled thinkers since the dawn of civilization. If the universe is infinite, these philosophical inquiries take on a whole new level of significance. On a more personal level, an infinite universe might make us feel even smaller and more insignificant. We're already a tiny blip on the cosmic radar. If the universe is infinite, we become an even tinier blip. But perhaps, there's a silver lining to this. If we're such a small part of an infinite cosmos, maybe our problems aren't as big as they seem. Maybe our worries and fears, our joys and triumphs, are all just fleeting moments in the grand scheme of things. So, an infinite universe might just make our problems seem a bit more finite, don't you think? So, we've navigated the paradox of an infinite universe, much like navigating through a minefield. But where does that leave us? Well, we've looked at the sky and wondered why it's dark at night, introducing ourselves to Olber's paradox. This paradox poses the question, if the universe is infinite and eternally old, why isn't the night sky as bright as the sun? After all, in an infinite universe, every line of sight should end on a star. We then dug into some possible solutions to this paradox, with the same intensity as a sergeant inspecting his troops. One solution suggests that the universe might not be infinite. Another proposes that the universe is not old enough for light from every part of it to reach us. Yet another points out that the universe is expanding, and so the light from distant stars is redshifted into oblivion. From there, we ventured into the concept of the multiverse. Imagine the universe as one tent in a vast campsite of tents, each one a universe of its own. This theory expands our perspective from one universe to an infinite number of universes, each with its own laws of physics. We then considered the impact of discovering an infinite universe. It's like finding out that the military operation you've been planning for is much bigger than you thought. But instead of being overwhelmed, we're intrigued. The idea of an infinite universe challenges our understanding of reality and our place in it, forcing us to confront the idea of our own insignificance. So here we are, standing on the precipice of understanding, gazing out at the vast expanse of the cosmos. We've dealt with paradoxes, navigated theories, and wrestled with the idea of infinity. But we're not done yet. This paradox of an infinite universe is a complex and unresolved problem in cosmology. Like a long-forgotten munitions dump, we've only just begun to scratch the surface. The theories we've discussed are just that, theories. They are our best attempts to explain the observations we've made so far. But as we continue to explore, to observe, to question, we may find that our understanding of the universe changes. The universe is a tricky beast, just like a seasoned drill sergeant. It doesn't give up its secrets easily, but we're not deterred. We're driven by a desire to understand, to explore, to know. In the end, the universe might be infinite, or it might not, but one thing's for sure, our curiosity and desire to understand it is definitely infinite.